Recently, I published a color video where I created this epic animation. I need to tell you a secret. Each one of the three Goto videos intros have been created in, well, Unity. You see, some of the effects are hard to achieve in the editing software, even in the industry standard like Adobe After Effects. Let's go through them and check how they're made. I will start with the first video intro. I've created the scene with the grass loop and an animated character that was constantly running uphill. I've also added this trigger that moves the camera out to emphasize how much work is still required to master Godot. So how was all of that recorded? I could use in Fury a screen recorder software like OBS, but the final recording may not be smooth, not to mention my videos are in 4K. Fortunately, there is an amazing package from Unity called Unity Recorder. It allows you to record a game view with any specified resolution and frame rate. If you'd like to learn more and master features like recording transparent video, 360 camera view, multicam recording and more, check out my course on Pro Code Learn, link in the description. After the recording, I overlaid some texts and arrows and this is the final effect. Let's move on to the second video. This one was a bit different. I wanted to simulate our character falling. For all of those animations, I used a Lean Twin package. It may have a bit outdated logo, but trust me, it is a great toolkit. Thanks to Lean Twin, I was able to create a whole animation in script without the need of tinkering with Unity timelines. Look at those badges, for example. Using some math and only a few lines of code, I achieved this effect. Okay, so finally time for the third video. I'm the most proud of this one. Let's start with graphics. I'd use this free template to create those two maps. Then I planned my video scenario and added multiple points along the way that symbolize the milestones. Finally, some graphic tweaks and old paper texture, and this is what I achieved. Then I've imported all of that to Unity, created a new 2D scene with islands and water background. Before starting animating the map, I wanted to make it more dynamic. I took this water texture, tiled it across the whole scene and added a script to animate it. If you ever wanted why would you need to learn a scene function, this is why. Talking about the movement, I think the static camera was a bit boring. Because of that, I've created new virtual camera using Cinemachine package. Apart from the usual camera settings, it has one killer feature for this case, camera movement noise. Here I can select, let's say, this setting, and that immediately created a nice handheld effect. Now, how I created this path line. You might remember from one of my older videos a trail component. Usually it's used for the fast moving objects, but this time I decided to make it permanent by increasing its lifetime. Trail allows you to draw a line on the map when moving its root object. To stylize it, I took that line texture, created a new material out of it, and after a bit of tinkering with the tiling, I managed to create this look. In terms of movement, I could create a script that moves this line from point A to B, but that would be very predictive and boring. And here once again comes a Unity Recorder package that allows me to play the game and manually record the movement of the path. I then receive an animation file that can be used in the final product. By the way, as a co-code patron, you can receive source files of this project. Thank you for all the support. To combine all the animations and camera movement, I decided to use a Cinemachine timeline. I've added a line movement animation I've created just a second ago, then manually added a camera movement with zoom keyframes to follow the path, and finally, to make things more interesting, I've added texts with this climatic map font. 
And that's it! To record it, I again used Unity Recorder features and got that amazing 4K output. If you'd like to continue your coding adventure, be sure to check out my other tutorials shown on the screen. As always, thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. See you soon!